hey hi everyone this is admin from admin 365 and today we are going to talk about how to sync all your onedrive files on your computer so let's get started so if you have a onedrive account be it a personal account or a microsoft 365 business account you get respective storages uh, the personal account which is a free account will provide you five gb of storage whereas the business one will provide you one terabyte of storage so for us to configure the onedrive onto the computer so that you can view it in file explorer uh, we will have to sign in into the onedrive application onedrive application is by default installed on all the windows computer so you just have to look for onedrive on your computer and you should see something like this which is onedrive app you just have to click on it and it should show you a window to enter your email address and your password so uh, what we'll do is we will use my business account here which provides one terabyte of storage all right and once you enter your email address it should ask you for the password so we will enter the password of the account we are using to sign in into the onedrive so once we are successfully signed in uh, we should see a cloud icon here which represents that the onedrive is configured on the computer and depending on the type of account you use you you can see two different cloud icons one could be in white color and the other one could be in blue color white color means that it is a personal account onedrive personal account which is free and which has 5 gb of storage initially and if it is blue in color then it is a microsoft 365 business accounts onedrive so uh, once it is set up we should be able to see the cloud icon and as you can see we see a blue one here it is trying to sign in right now once it is signed in it will let us know the status of it as well whenever we check the cloud icon there usually it does not take uh, much time you just enter your email address followed by your password and then it asks you to select the location where you want to sync it uh, location in the terms of drives whether you want to sync it in c drive d drive or any other drive and as you can see the default is the c drive users and the user which you are signed in with followed by onedrive and the organization name here so uh, you can change the location if you want as well by clicking on change location and it will ask you where you want to sync it we will not do it we will go with the default we will hit next and next again next again and this is the status of the files which you will see in the onedrive uh, cloud means that it is on the cloud and it is not consuming the space on your device a check in a circle means that the file has been used so it is downloaded and stored on the device and uh, always available is when you right click on the file and make it available on the device so that it downloads it and shows you the green check we will hit next and later so uh, you might also get one option where it asks you to back up all your folders like desktop documents and picture if you want you can go ahead and choose the selection if you don't want to sync them uh, you can just uncheck them and click on skip that will not sync your files on your desktop your download files and your pictures file to the onedrive and we'll hit later and open my onedrive folder So this is here now i can see my onedrive with all the files which i see here 
are available and all the status of the file is cloud as i have not used them but if i try to open any one of the file it will download it and now you can see the status that the file has been downloaded and it is trying to open it and then you can work on the file and it would sync all your changes directly to the file using the onedrive application on the bottom right and here you can see the cloud and it states that it is up to date and it is a blue colored cloud if i had a personal account i would see a white cloud as well and here it will only say onedrive for personal account and not hyphen prem which you see here so for personal it is just onedrive and for business it is onedrive hyphen the company name or the organization name so there you go guys if you have any question you can drop it in the comment section and if you want me to create a video on certain topics you can mention that in the comment section or if you have any question doubt about this you can also drop it in the comment section and i will reply to it and until then you guys have a nice day